gonna do that. That levels Talia. We're gonna have two leveled up buyers on the field of play. We also do still have siphoning strikes that we can potentially use if needed next turn on one of my buyers. So as well as that, obviously we've got this like you know sharpened stone. We've got Jerry's. We've got options. Hello everyone, Gomez here for the Land Up channel again, another deck for you today. This one is actually just, you know when you, you, you build a deck and it's a little bit too insane even for you and you think that it's probably not going to work, but if it did, does work it's going to be amazing? That is this deck. So the deck is called Ancient Punch, and as you can guess from just looking at the front cover there, uh, we are obviously working with fire. And so what we're doing here is we are trying to do multiple copies of Vi. Vi, obviously, getting Vi inside an hourglass and then either using uh, Talia to make a copy of that or to use Promising Future and then make a copy of that landmark even more so so that we get four Vi's out of the situation now this deck actually is pretty much you know like how people build an all-in for your deck this deck is pretty much an all-in vi deck now i will just say that um i did see somebody playing something similar to this when i was playing i have got no idea what was inside their deck it was just something i was randomly playing i just saw this i was like my god that is genius and so i don't know if this is exactly that deck this is just seeing that deck and my interpretation of what i would consider to be that build personally um but if the person's out there if you're out there please let me know down in the comments because i'd love to hear back for you because i'd like to credit you properly uh because literally i said like i just i saw this idea and i was like my god i got i've got to do something with it so i will say this deck definitely can be edited up quite a bit um what you need to be doing is you need to be careful like, I, I want bright of calling in here because the whole idea is that we need to be trying to get via as quickly as possible so you're trying to get via into your hand so you can start leveling her up but there is actually some nice little features in this deck that can help her level for example um shot widget shape stone that is if you've got a landmark plus three attack which on top of via in her unleveled form is plus four attack if she's not what you got if like oh she still needs to get up to 10 so that's what's quite nice about that is that that's like near enough half of her level up is coming from that one widget from that one card um so we've got a few different things that are going to be helping her out as well so quicksand is going to help if anyone's attacking against her who's trying to kill her so we can save her we've got hourglass of course that can save her as well and like payday payday is an amazing card that can really help so number one we're getting a card out of that uh but then it's then we're giving fire even more like abilities like potentially overwhelm giving her quick attack giving her um well tough is pointless because she already got tough but like fearsome like there's there's different things that you could find within there or just stats just stats could be quite good as well but on top of her but obviously you'd be looking for more like quick attack or um spell even spell shield would be good i don't know if i already said that inner sanctum is in there as well to help with lucky finds because yet again those are zero cost things that can help level vibe really quickly we've got a siphoning strike so that if it's not your attack turn or before you go into your attack turn there is the potential of leveling vi through siphoning strike so that's another thing to help you out um negation can help against spells that are trying to kill her as well but as i said there's definitely things that can get um got rid of i i really nearly got rid of one copy of rummage I was, I was gonna get rid of my copy of rummage to put in another right of calling or to put in um another which is urchin to be fair there is nothing wrong with doing that i just chose to keep in the rummage because i do like that when you've got nothing else going for you just that burst speed trying to find answers i do enjoy that personally and it's, it's helped it saved my life many times in the past but bear in mind this deck has got very little counterplay by that i mean it's not got much which is actually killing your opponent stuff so obviously you can use quicksand that will nullify keywords such as elusive or overwhelm or whatever but other than that you've not got anything because bearing in mind we're in pnz which has things along lines of like um thermal beam mystic shot get excited etc we're not actually running any of those things it is an all in going all in on fire right now so as i said this deck definitely could be changed around like for example i could potentially see promising future getting removed from it it's anything more for banter's sake but i could see it being removed quite easily as well as the fact that obviously like you know 
that there, there, there is a number of things that could be um, swapped around as I already said the one rummage but that is the deck that I'm running at this moment in time but please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below as well as the fact that if you make any changes let me know I said I kept Poro Cannon in there number one because it's, it counts as technically free cards that are going to help towards Maya's level up and they're also elusive cards that can help if you're going if you're against like elusive decks but so that's the main reason that Poro Cannon is in there in case people are questioning um but yes, it please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below as well as that like oh, any changes you'd make let me know but this is I feel like this idea can definitely be shaped and molded even better but bear in mind people if you haven't already there is much it shameless plug time twitch twitter and instagram you can catch me on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so you want to come by and catch the action live say hello and whatnot please feel free to as well as the fact that there is the link to the discord down below as well so if you want to get in there and talk all things deck related and have a bit of fun talking in there it's all which it like oh, I'm, I'm always up to hearing from you guys so there's obviously the lovely community we're building there is very nice there's also a games night and a movie night that's held in there so next games night is going to be the 25th so you want to get in there get on mic and talk as we play games and have a good time please feel free to only other thing to say is a big thank you to everyone who has supported me so far honestly everyone everyone who subscribes and comments who who um which it follows just everyone who does all of these things thank you so much because as i said, I've got an end of year goal of hitting 5,000 followers slash subscribers on youtube slash twitch and we've already gone past the halfway mark on on youtube so honestly thank you all so much twitch has still got a little bit of catching up but i believe we can hit this goal by the end of the year so just big thank you to everyone let's see i haven't actually played this deck yet so let's see how this deck does in a couple of matchups okay so is this is this just gonna be standard fizz fizz with timo with freleon potentially quicksand could be quite good because obviously it would get rid of the elusive keyword Make sure you keep hourglass, I feel. Gonna keep hourglass. So Vi's in the hand! Vi's in the hand! So, if nothing else, we at least have Vi. My opponent is is confused about the whole situation. <laughs> Which to be fair, I can understand. My opponent is confused about everything because of what's going on right now. <laughs> Which, as I said, for me, that, that that's a plus, so it's all good. I'm just gonna immediately go forward. That's what it would be tried to force out force out what they're gonna play so if they were gonna go for a target move go for my draw right now just because I, I i might as well go for draw i've got the ability of if they're going to play ezra or timo i could poro cannon this just so that i can get those uh an elusive out to block the elusive i'm willing to wait because obviously i'd prefer to throw rock hopper out just because it would make timo or or Ezreal vulnerable, but have a mushroom. Have free, of course, of what course. That nice. swine. So I've got a defense. Yeah, that 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 is that is perfectly fine to me. So I've got a defense for that. Um, what I want to like part of me's thinking. So I'm allowing my opponent to have like a like multiple blockers and, and things along those lines. But I just want to do that so that I'm being manner efficient. Like in my head, be manner efficient. It's helping Vi like level up a little bit there so i'm i'm, I'm happy to do that i can tell i can tell myself that <laughs> what i want to be doing is throwing vi out i do have the ability to hourglass her if they're about to use a thermal beam here throwing the foundry out before they've even got any shrooms that's a bold maneuver that is a bold maneuver from my opponent so just gonna throw throw you out and at this point at this point, go full for everything else because you know it's solid. So we want to be trying to kill the mushroom man. If they try to do some form of target on top of this, so okay, they're going for the freeze. So it's fine. I'm I'm willing to accept that. I could actually theoretically, which it you use this on top of here, just at least so that Vi's health isn't going down into a get excited range because we've got two of them. We've got we've got another one if it's needed, so I don't I don't mind doing that right now. And obviously we can throw out another uh, Poro. We've also got the ability of making them vulnerable to begin with, so this is absolutely fine. We're doing a lot of damage into them. They've they've only put three sh like six shrooms in my deck, and we've got all the hourglasses going on right now. This is actually working out quite nicely. So Timo's already vulnerable. Timo, repeat, already vulnerable. <laughs> We've also got I think, like quicksand would would help against Teemo because it would remove the elusive keyword as well. Ooh. 
well, looks like Zombie's gonna go in the box. <laughs> into the box, Review you, Vi! <laughs> into the box! <laughs> so, Vi's, Vi's in the box. We've got perfect count of the Teemo. Um, as well as the fact that Teemo is vulnerable. Ooh, if I was gonna choose anything out of this right now, potentially draw might be my best option. Or do I... Yeah, I'm going to go draw. I, I'll go... Out, out of all those choices, I guess I could have technically passed and not had a choice at all. So that... like, Because technically Talia is who, like, who I'm looking for right now. But another buy as well. So just in case all goes wrong. Just in case all goes wrong. We now go in like this. Because we're trying to level... We're trying to level fire. So let's just go. That's fine. We lose, we lose those two. Obviously, that helps them, helps them with their leveling up of Ezreal. But I mean, I tell you, I could protect, I could protect one of these if, if I so chose, right? But I'm okay. I can live with this. We're leveling up by. We are removing one of their mushroom men. We're removing one of their mushroom men. We've got another Vi in the hand. We could technically hourglass Vi and throw another Vi onto the board so that we can get two Vi's onto the board that way. But we will see. We'll see how my opponent plays. So I definitely want to be playing this down. So I mean, siphoning strike, harder cards, Yuki, harder cards. Ah. I mean, to be fair, quicksand is still gonna help me deal with this situation anyway. So it's absolutely fine. So you go forward with Ezra, like ah, quicksand. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's gonna be our plan here. So our opponent's gonna go Billy Big Bollocks. Okay. I could throw down. I could do payday. Trying to give Vi some maybe additional stats or like maybe like spell shield or something. So let's see, see what we can give her. Spell shield would have been what I wanted. She's already got, but overwhelm is still overwhelm is still a really good stat to give to Vi. I wait. <laughs> I wait. There's a Teemo. Bearing in mind that I do have like two. Two, which could, uh, which it quick sounds, which means that I could remove both Teemo um, problems right now. But I'm willing, willing to wait to see when they, they're gonna go for probably try to kill Vi, right? Yes, yeah, so they're gonna, they're gonna go try to kill Vi, which admittedly they're gonna get the six cost unit regardless, right? We throw you down just to protect, so I, I protect. And I can play this Vi so that I can still get two Vi's onto the field of play. Does now mean that I'm out of quicksand range though. I by 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 doing that they have forced on my hand so that I don't get which I don't get two Vi's. But so I'm gonna be going down a considerable amount. They're gonna be leveling there. I'm willing to accept little clock man dying just to give me a little bit more health. We are gonna have two Vi's. Bear in mind that this one will have overwhelm, so I'm willing to accept the charges. Officer, I am willing to accept the charges. Even though I'm drawing more <laughs> mushrooms, I've, I've just given myself like 30 mushrooms or whatever it is in the deck. Oh no, actually no, we're only, we're only up to 16. But I've given myself a lot of mushrooms, but I'm willing to take that because I know, boom, I'm getting two fights, which is already, which is already gonna be um, a lot of what you, with the overwhelm damage as well. That is a lot of damage that's coming to my opponent right now. We are we are gonna be basically immediately asking them. So harsh winds and harsh winds and problems such as those are things. I could actually technically I guess the mushroom man's more more my problem, right? But that is a lot of things to be asking them to answer. Bearing in mind that we do have these moves. So you freeze. You freeze me once! But, I, so, admittedly, that is a level up on Ezreal. That is a level up on Ezreal. But what I can do is I can still throw two of these down. I can even use quicksand. So, number one. We shall go like this. So, obviously, they could could do additional damage. But I'm willing willing to see if we can do it like this. So, maybe I should have just like the once and then seen. The, like, as well as that, I could have actually used payday to give, like... This so I, I I acted too soon. <laughs> I acted too soon. So they're throwing a lot of damage in on me. A lot of damage. That is a, a mighty, a mighty amount of damage, one might say. And that we still live! Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to accept this because we still win at the end! Just by one! By one helping! That was a close one. 
That was honest to God, a close one. But boom, and then the five damage coming in off the other one. Shenamote to my opponent. Boom. Death. Shenamote indeed. That was oh, so close. Deep. You know what? It's been a while since I've been against Deep. Now, obviously, I know that I put out a Deep deck very recently. And to be fair, Deep with shit, which it with, um, which it, the new card Lost Riches is actually amazingly funny to play. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to deep dive here. Because immediately, if they're going to be playing those those cards, I technically might have wanted to keep right of negation. Like if they get those treasures. But we're trying to deep dive because we're trying to deep dive for Vi. Because that's who we... That's who we... I said, this deck is all in on top of Vi. So let's just quickly see. Come on. Give me Vi. Heart the cards, you... Oh, heart the cards, Yugi! Heart the cards! Okay. We do have the ability of ancient which it with like, so soon we will actually be able to make many copies of Vi. Like that that's gonna be our plan. But obviously we need to wait and see what the situation is gonna be. I haven't actually really had too many things that I can play that's gonna be helping level her right now. I mean that's gonna help me a little bit, but still. Okay, so Poro Cannon. Poro Cannon's actually gonna help me. Quite a bit, right? Because we, what we can do here is we can get rid of you to throw these little poros out. At least, even if nothing else, I will have these as blockers. Like, so that's not that's not actually too bad at all. So we have to get by up a bit. Part of me is honestly God considering playing her right now, playing her right now, so that we can hourglass. So, I don't want to be hourglassing this turn. I want to be hourglassing next turn. I'll leave it, because although Vi could trade this off at this moment in time, all that's doing would be helping them get deep. And I don't want to be doing that. Oh my God, all of the slaughter dogs! My opponent with literally all of the slaughter dogs coming at me. Now, bearing in mind, that deck does want, which it runs then, like, it potentially runs vengeance. See, like, it could do, right? So... They've got all the slaughter docks helping them out and working towards that Malachi. On the plus side, they're now past vengeance. Oh, it's got lo it's got lost riches! It's got lost ri riches in that deck. Hourglass and promising future. Like that's cards that I want to be using right now. Uh, I could use siphoning strike to help with her. But I'm just thinking to myself right now. Bear in mind, does that would that deck run ruination? That's got to be the other question I've got to ask myself, right? Because I could use this with Talia. Like, that's another thing that I could do as well. Rather than Promising Future, I could use this and then use Talia to make... So, I've got... So, number one, I'm keeping things on the ball while still, number one, getting more landmarks on the field on the of play. The I'm willing to accept... Accept that... Everything. I'm willing to accept that. Mind up regretting the decisions here, but obviously my opponent could be running Ruination, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. So, I'm not going to be getting the plus three. I'm not going to be getting the plus three because I've just, like, I obviously, like, I got rid of my landmark. I can add a landmark. We are near Ruination territory, which is what scares me right now. Actually, or is it just if you've summoned a landmark this game oh yeah, yeah that's fine don't worry about it I don't, I don't know what I was questioning myself with there okay so what I want to be doing is making sure the first one making sure the first one is striking in for that and then the second one striking will be doing additional damage into my opponent anyway right let's go with that then my because basically all that's going to happen here is that this one goes in that levels this one and by that one leveling it means that striking is doing five damage punching into their core boom, 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 boom. right we've also got another bite in hand we've got rid of another so that is all of their riches gone right we got rid of like all of their lost all of their lost riches obviously we have made them go deep we have made them go deep and obviously we can be getting very close to tree man we could be getting very close to Tree Man. I need to basically hope that Siphony Strike is going to be a big, big help here. But obviously, they could have Ruination. And uh, so, is it on health from what I can remember? It is on health. So, there's nothing I can do about that fact, sadly. What I could do is I could use this. But I kind of want to use this for if they play Tree Man or potentially even Nautilus. 
would be the ideal situations. I wish that I had another, which I'm, I'm going to take, so I could take Right of Negation or I could take the Hourglass. I feel like I'm going to take the Hourglass at this moment in time because I have this, because I have Promising Future, I'm willing to take the Hourglass. I feel like that is the, um, the better strategy, but they are about to get a lot of sea monsters out on this field of play right now. A lot of sea monsters out on this field of play, so it's going to be quite devastating. As long as one of them's not tired of the terrors, as long as one of them's not tired, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of devourers. As long as it's just one of them's not tired of the terrors, we'll be absolutely fine. That's fine. I can live with that. Because it just means that I can block. I can block and be relatively okay. Right. Ha! You play Tree Man. I see Tree Man. And I raise you. Siphonic Strike. Which should hopefully mean the trick is basically they're playing him just so that they can get closer and closer to this. Ooh. Okay. Sad times. Sad times. We've not, not been able to use this thing. But what we can do is do this and still and still use promising so we level talia we then use promising which is then going to allow us to be able to which is to get two vies on the board again but obviously there's a lot of damage coming my way potentially a lot of damage coming my way so we need to at least stay stay the tide um i could use this but at this point that is still just going to be her dying anyway right so I kind of sadly can't do anything about that. I can still, can still use this in order to get myself two fires onto the field of play and hope that from that, hope that from that, we might be able to help myself. I need to find Payday. Payday into a, what's its face right now will be devastated into Overwhelm. Payday into Overwhelm, that's a Jerry rig. That's sadly not what I was after. But okay, we've got we've got to kill Malachi. Like Malachi has to die. I can't I can't let him stay alive. Actually, I guess we do this the other way around, right? <laughs> I, I guess we do that the other way around because that makes more sense. Might as well keep you back actually for defensive purposes more than anything else. So potentially we might see another tree man. Potentially we might see another tree man. It's not what I'm after. But oh, that's rude. One ruination down. But okay. Punch to the face and they're down, they're down to five health. But it's looking scary, right? I mean, they're passing the turn. I'm going to pass right back. I'm going to pass right back. Okay. I've got the ability. Woo! Okay, right. Yeah, so I can get another Vi onto this field of play. I actually also can just go whoop, to be able to get myself this. We'll lose the Vi who's going to be like, you know, He's probably going to die anyway. Actually, I guess... So, we could... We could quicksand... We could quicksand twice. We could quicksand twice in order to save Vi's life right now. So that we still keep two on the field of play. Obviously, that then just means that it requires more out of my opponent in order to do something about this. So, all it takes is one strike forward with one Vi. We just need one strike forward with one Vi. So we go forward. <laughs> so we go forward with both Vi. Because literally all we need is one of them to strike. All we need is one of them. That luckily enough, that does, it just, it keeps my opponent alive by one. That is such a big ballsy move from my opponent because it literally keeps them alive by one. We've still got, we've still got this fight. Like, I felt like I had to go because we know that their deck runs Ruination. So I had to go, but that is such a good move from my opponent. Stopping me it has spanked a lot of their mana, but it, just, it does stop me from finishing them off this turn. So we've got to go in there, Ancient Preparation, potentially hourglass so that we can put Vi onto the field of play and that means that if they throw Nautilus out we can still block Nautilus but then pull back from the block Vi so that's why we that's this. why we need that is for that but obviously like they could have they could just immediately have um what's its face right atrocity that deck does run atrocity as well so it's okay, right? They're going under the water. I mean, I'm, like, I'm so glad I've got these elusive. That's why these elusive poros are in here. Okay. It's I've, I've got the elusive poros. That's fine. 
That is absolutely fine. I, I can accept. I can accept the charges because I can block back. Because we just we just need to stop the atrocity move. The atrocity move is the hardest one right now to work against. So we go. We go again. Now, obviously, if they've got vengeance, if they've got vengeance, then it's not good. But got to do it. Got to do this. This is all I've got right now. So, ve atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love this, like, how so we've forced out the atrocity move. We've forced out the atrocity move, but sadly, like all, all I can do is try to keep myself alive so that you still kill your own unit. There's the Nautilus, which I've got nowhere defending him other than Vi. We've got nowhere defending other than Vi, and if they've got another atrocity move, then this is done. But. We, we, all I, I can say that we tried. <laughs> I can say that we tried. It's all I've got. It's all I've got. So, potentially, Rockhopper could defend me against Nautilus if, oh, of course, of course, there's the stun. There's the stun. All I can do right now is believe in the heart of the cards. Well, I mean, obviously, if they play Tree Man, if they play Tree Man, then that is also. Oh, no! Not you, you and my Nautilus blocker! I mean, shout out to my opponent. They played well. You're literally, there is nothing that I can do to that right now. My last hope has been taken away, but that was an amazing game. That was an amazing game! <laughs> of course. Of course, we are against all three Egyptian god cards. Why, why wouldn't we be? Let's be honest. Okay. I'm actually going to keep this draw landmark, but we want to... Vi! We're needed! Hot card, Yugi! Vi in hand immediately. That's what we're looking for. Not going to do anything turn one. Rockhopper turn two. Nothing turn one. Rockhopper. We've got a... We've got a... Would you get like a quicksand that can really help us against um, Renekton? And, and potentially actually help us against... Uh, What's his face? Old uh, Nasus. So, we've got those options. We're slowly but sure we're going to be leveling her up slowly against these Egyptian gods. We can take the draw landmarks. Obviously, the more landmarks that we do, I guess we are helping towards Talia. And obviously, we've already got this. So, that's nice. So, might as well throw you out. Siphoning Strike. We could have it so that we've got two Vyze guide at one time. But I feel like Siphoning Strike. We're going all in on the one Vi right now. As much as we think like, but we could have two in the hand. We're going with the one Vi right now. I feel like that's the smarter option. It might not be. But Shurima's not actually really got that much like target damage spells. It's got things that can make things vulnerable. And it's got things that can obviously like, you know, take down attack. But it's not got any like direct, like other than obviously siphoning strike. But that requires you to have something which is going to have like five damage at least. Which obviously, I guess, with the Xenotype researcher <laughs> buffing things up, it is potential. <laughs> we shall see. We'll see how it goes. So, I want to be throwing this landmark out. Potentially, like, Vi throwing this on top of Vi could be quite good. So, I want to throw this out. Siphoning Strike, just knowing that I've got that, could potentially level Vi when we throw her out. Like, obviously. We can't use those two on the same turns as throwing her out, but knowing that that's there is going to be quite nice for me here. Yeah, what we can do is we know we've got this, we know, so we've got, we've got, we've got, you know what? Things are shaping up quite nicely, right? Because that is, this is technically plus four uh, on top of Vi's unleveled form. So things are shaping up quite nicely here. Do not fret everyone. So I'm willing to wait. Well, I've got to wait because like, <laughs> I've got to wait for my opponent. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I'm actually going to throw this out this just in case they're planning to throw Renekton out. I'd rather, like, know that he's going to be vulnerable. As well as the fact that this is, this is basically already, like, Talia's up near enough level as it is. That's fine. I, go, I, go. That's, that's, I mean, I guess, actually, we, we, we don't do that one. But we can kill this big attack stat. I could technically kill that if I were to do that on top of... Like, there is an option. I'm not going to do it because I kind of want a unit to be on the board so that, like, you know... Like, it, like, Vi threatens that unit. I mean, I could. I could use this. I'm not going to. You know, like, you do a move that you just figure to yourself, I might end up regretting this move later on down the line. I might end up regretting not using that later on down the line. In my head, I'm thinking to myself, with I throw Vi, I can at least, like, go quicksand whoever 
tries to kill her like if they tried to throw a renekton out like admittedly they could have another one of these spells like they could massively have another one of those spells there's not really a lot i can do about that if they've got another one of those spells but that is good so i can i can defend her i can defend her so my opponent goes forward the little sand the little sand man who gets made on the end there because it's gonna get a lot of pain and potentially level level up by so okay so th th their plan is to use Get this over the here their plan is to use that it's absolutely fine because i can still if i wanted to i could throw jerry out but we need to we need to save her life which technically i could even save her life via this but this seems like the the smarter way of saving her life if i'm gonna be honest and then we're just then we just throw, throw you in front of that <laughs> Oh, Birdman, are you ready to take quite a significant amount of pain? <laughs> Birdman is about to receive potentially uh, the most pain that he's, he's uh, ever felt in his life. So, Birdman, are you ready? I mean, potentially they could just have an hourglass, right? They could actually, right of negation or hourglass are two counters to this move, like, very like a high probability in a in an all in Shirima deck that you would be running right of negation or hourglass but even if that doesn't kill him okay well then i'll just send by <laughs> i'll do this properly then i shall send by directly into you then <laughs> if that's the way this has to be that is the way this has to be so by just immediately going into this egyptian god sending that egyptian god to the shadow room i could technically throw this out to kill this attacks that unit just so that that's one less thing to worry about i do have two jerrys so that's the level up on fire i do have two jerrys i can just go da, 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 da. <laughs> so it's all good we also have got an hourglass so all we're looking for right now is talia or um the promising future or whatever it is the, the one which basically means that we can make copies so either way and we've also got a strike in here as well so if they play any of their other egyptian god cards uh, we have the option of just going yeah <laughs> so there she is there she is obviously we're just going to go with this immediately to do the damage Ooh. so our glassing that's fine that is absolutely fine i wish i had overwhelm i wish i had like uh Fibishi for overwhelm but it's absolutely fine because it goes back over to my opponent's turn so we want to wait for them to use some map oh, they could have another right of negation which is what which is the only thing which is really stopping me from thinking that this move is a great idea we're gonna do it anyway because obviously I'd, I'd prefer to keep this back for something which is gonna save her life because obviously this is now opening up my opponent to play an egyptian god but we're gonna do that that levels talia we're gonna have two leveled up fires on the field of play we also do still have siphoning strikes that we can potentially use if needed next turn on one of my vies so as well as that obviously we've got this like you know sharpened stone we've got jerry's we've got options <laughs> i have got multitudes of options right now that i can use against my my opponent's Egyptian god two leveled up vies on the field that's a lot of damage. That That is just... By striking in, they're going to be doing 10 damage anyway. We need to find Payday. We need to find Overwhelm. <laughs> or even Sanctum. Sanctum Overwhelm is what we're looking for. But Payday Overwhelm is better because we can play it on that turn right now because we haven't got Fimishy. So, my opponent is willing to pass. My opponent is willing to wait. And because my opponent is willing to wait, I am also willing to wait. I mean, I could play a Landmark. Which, no! No, I was going to say, I could play a landmark, which would then mean that we'd have the, the damage coming in off of Talia as well. I mean, don't just give it up like that. I had two vibes. I had all the abilities. Why would you give up with my dreams are about to come true? <laughs> ah, so we are against Demosia. Four Demosias. So, full on elite deck. One must assume this is going to be a full on elite deck. Um, I'm actually going to keep that and just have something to play. But I'm actually going to keep both vibes as my just just in case one dies because obviously we could have uh leaping into action um big ballsy man so we need to be careful with that i feel so i could go for the draw or i could go this is this technically counts as playing more cards out of the cards that i've got so i'm willing to do that i'm willing to do that just because it's going to help buy out in the great in the greater scheme of things oh, 
the ability, like, because obviously they're not going to be able to play him until turn seven. Like, if they want him to leap into action, because they're attacking on the odd numbers, which means that. See, that's that's the one thing that nobody ever mentions about Jarvin the fourth is that. Jarvin the Fourth is just the thing for he's you. massively decreased in value by the fact that if you're if you're attacking on the odd number, you can't get him out immediately on turn six. You have to wait until turn seven. That like, you got to wait an additional turn to get him out. Wait, wait, but payday is quite good. If we can find overwhelm, then we've got good 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 times. Good times are in store. Sharp sight. Oh, I, I was almost going expecting sharp sight. Hands are for four, That's fine. That's fine. So, one banner, oh, one dude, what? that is a really that is a that is a quite early played bannerman, really, right? That, that that just feels like that was quite an early played bannerman. Like basically, you you do it waiting to down a field, like a, a, a full ball before doing that. But that's fine. I want to throw Vi out. My heart and sword. For oh, the Murcia. I'm gonna throw Vi out. I'm doing this my way. I'm doing this my way. I could kill Garen. <gasps> They're not willing to it. I was gonna say I could kill Garen, but obviously it would mean losing my vibe. I'd have to play another vibe. But the fact that they're not deciding to attack, but obviously I'm, I'm guessing it's because their next attack turn, we're gonna see one big man jump out at me and go, hello! <laughs> so I'm expecting to see a very big man coming at leaping into action next turn. Could spell shield. Could spell shield, because just because that stops moves such as um what's his face from getting in my way that stops um concerted strike or um yeah i was, I was really looking for overwhelm but i'll take that i guess but okay this is potentially me level i'm not gonna attack forward with this just in case they've got sharp sight or another purify because we don't want to be helping them level garen because by obviously if they level garen they're continuously coming at me and we want to go no 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 i decide when you come at me <laughs> next turn <sighs> comes out we hourglass and make copies we hourglass and make copies but i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie this is getting um quite big quite big for my opponent but I'm expecting immediately <laughs> to come out. I really wish I could have given you overwhelm. Overwhelm on top of like Vi. Just so good. So good. I'm so like Jerry Rig at least gives me another defense on this ball. So <laughs> potential golden Aegis is like the only other thing that I'm really concerned about from my opponent is the potential of gold the potential of golden Aegis. Um, does not help me. I guess if I'm, I guess if Garen's gonna get a strike anyway, I might as well allow him to have a strike such as this. But obviously, Golden Aegis and that rally would not be ideal for me right now. So I could play this fire. So it gives me the option to play this fire, or I could play Promising Future. If my opponent is going to Golden Aegis, I would rather have a Vi on the field of play rather than playing this right now. Like if they if they were going to go into Golden Aegis and Rally, I feel like my better option here is to have a Vi. So stay resolute. Gonna be ten damage from striking. If it's made of sand, I can write it. At least gonna be ten damage from striking. I should have maybe just gone immediately forward because obviously we, we gave them the options for... So, I feel like I want to kill you. I feel like I want to kill you and I guess we also... Because we just need to be limiting down their resources right now. This feels okay. Obviously, Garen is judgment! So, right of negation. We could right of negation or... I could um, throw down Hourglass into Promising Future. Just so that we get... Just so that we get more Vi's onto this field of play, right? That feels that feels like the smart man moves. Is that another Garen? No, that is just a straight-up judgment that's played in the deck. So... <laughs> he still lives. But that is one lot of five damage going into my opponent's core. And now we play Promising Future. <laughs> we play Promising Future. Meaning that we can get all of the things. So who's coming out now? 
So, playing this just means that we have three Vi's on the field of play. So, it's a lot to deal with. Obviously, they've got another judgment. That's not going to be ideal because if they have another judgment, then that means that I can't, I can't, I mean, I guess I've got a right of negation. I do have a right of negation. If they do try to, we say, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's not the magic word. We've got options. Not the best options, but they are options nonetheless. Hopefully, we're not going to see Concerted Strike. Concerted Strike is like my one major problem. Potentially, we could also see a single combat just to, just to level Garand. Prince Jarvan, the Vanguard is Prince Jarvan's. So, might as well throw this out at this moment in time. So, Quicksand or another Predict. Quicksand means that we could potentially remove Garen from the field of play if if not this turn. So my opponent just passes because they're not willing. But potentially, potentially, this could be because 15 damage. This could be 15 damage on my opponent. 15 damage coming at you. We have got a right of negation, so if they try to... <gasps> We've got options. So, we go. We go in here. Because that is 15 damage and judgment. Even, even though, like, we have right of negation, but we don't even need to use right of negation because we can still even use this, which just means that he does do his swing, but it's a little... <gasps> Swing that he does. So we uh we accept the little <laughs> swing from, from Jarf and the fourth as we do 15 damage directly into my opponent's car. Boom, 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 boom. Go on, go I mean <laughs> Which literally does no damage to any of them because they're all tough. So Jarvan swings his mighty sword of nothingness! <laughs> And that is boom and boom. I love making so many copies of Vi. <laughs> I love making copies of Vi. Boom. Punching them directly where it matters. So that is the ancient punch deck. As you can see, making copies of Vi has always been a really funny thing to do. And obviously the ability of being able to do that uh, with either Talia or like getting the, what's, it, getting the um, what's his face? hourglass and then playing that or playing another vi when hourglass has happened or using promising future just to get multiple vias on the field of play is a really funny strategy so please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below i definitely think there's move like room for maneuver in this deck with 100 um so please let me think know what your feelings are as well in fact so if you play this deck let me know how it goes so if you make any changes let me know what you change but honestly thank you all so much for watching remember you can catch me on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays if you want to come catch the action live and say hello and whatnot as well as the fact there is a discord link down below if you want to join that there's a games night and a movie night that we have in there monthly so the next games night is on the 25th of march so if you want to get involved get on mic as we play some games why not consider doing that but just thank you to everyone who has been watching and like it supports me honestly it means so much like you guys are the best it's the best community like room terror has got one of the best communities uh, that we've got going for us so thank you all so much i hope that you have a great day evening afternoon or whatever it is for you and until next time bye from flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me okay <laughs> get rid of this and get rid of this find something that can save me